from each of the two given numbers half the smaller number is subtracted after such subtraction the larger number is four times as large as a smaller number what is the ratio of the numbers now let us assume the two numbers are l and s larger number and smaller number it says from each of the two given numbers half of the smaller number is subtracted so from l will subtract half of smaller number s by 2 and from s also will subtract half of the smaller number which is s by 2 so l minus s by 2 and s minus s by 2 now it says after such subtraction the larger number that means this number is four times as large as the smaller number this is equal to four times this number simplify this so l minus s by 2 equals to 4 into s minus s by 2 is s by 2 this goes two times so from this l is equal to 2s plus s by 2 which is equal to 5s by 2 therefore l is to s equals to 5 is to 2 right l by s equals to 5 by 2 5 is to 2 option c would be the answer twice the square of a number is more than 11 times the number by 21 the number can have each of the following values let us assume the number is n right so it says twice the square of number what is square of number n square twice the square of number 2n square is is means equal to this is more than 11 times the number by 21 now what is 11 times the number 11n so this 2n square is more than 11 by 11n by 21 so basically this is the equation 2n square equals to 11n plus 21 one equation one variable can you not solve it yes basically this is a quadratic equation so either solve this quadratic equation get the two values or you can go by options as well you can go by options and verify Okay, but anyway, now that we have framed the equation, let us quickly solve it. So what do we get? 2n squared minus 11n uh, minus 21 equals to 0. Minus 21 equals to 0. Right? So minus 42. How do we get minus 42 here? Mm, minus 14 plus 3, right? 14 3 is 40. So 2n squared minus 14n minus 3n minus 21 equals 0. So take 2n common, we get n minus 7. Take Sorry, this should be plus 3, right? Minus 14 plus 3. Minus 14 and plus 3 and is minus 7 and minus 14 into plus 3 is minus 42, yeah. Then you take uh, uh, 3 common plus 3 common, you will get n minus 7 equals to 0. So what are the values of n? n will either be equal to 7 or minus 3 by 2. 7 or minus 3 by 2, option B is the answer. Or simply verify from the options. It's like, like for example, take option 1, it says 4. He says one of the values of n should be 4. So try uh, twice the square of number. 2 into 4 square equals to 11 into 4 plus 21. 11 into 4 is 44. 2 into 4 square itself is, I mean, is only 32, right? 16 into 2, 32. Here itself we have got 44. 44 plus 21 does not satisfy. So option A is wrong. Then let's see if you see option C. What happens? Uh, 2 into 3 square equals to 11 into 3 plus 21. Now 3 square is 9, 2 into 9 is 18. This is 18, here we have got 21 on this part itself. Then there is 33, eliminated, right? Suppose you go by option B, what happens? 2 into 7 square equals to 11 into 7 plus 21. So check 49, 49 into 98, this is 77, 77 plus 21, 98, balance. So first part satisfies. Now just because the first part is satisfied, you cannot mark option B as answer. You have to verify the second value as well. Verify the second value. 2 into see n square. So minus 3 by 2 square. Minus 3 by 2 square equals to 11 times the number. Minus 3 by 2 plus 21. Now you'll have to do that verification. So minus 3 by 2 whole square will become 9 by 4. 2 into 9 by 4 is like 9 by 2. Equals to 21 minus 33 by so this is like 42, 42 minus 33 is again 9 by 2. So balance or not? Yes, option B is the answer.